Hello, I'm Dan Alford. Welcome to the ARC Specialties Weld of the Week. On this week's Weld of the Week, we're going to be demonstrating MIAB welding. That's magnetically impelled arc butt welding. It's a little known process which was developed behind the Iron Curtain in the USSR. We wouldn't even be aware of it had the Iron Curtain not fallen in 1991. I first witnessed the process in Dallas in 2005 at the American Welding Society Exposition. MIAB is very similar to flash butt welding, but it has some unique characteristics which ensure weld integrity. I thought the process was fascinating and offered some unique advantages. It wasn't until five years later that I met Dr. Peter Kuznetsov. Peter was one of the researchers at the Baton Institute in Kiev who developed the process. I'd always been fascinated with the Baton Welding Institute in Kiev, Ukraine. It's one of the three big welding institutes in the world. It was established in 1934 by Dr. Evgeny Patan. He passed away in 1953, but his son, Boris Patan, continued the tradition of welding research. At its peak, there were thousands of engineers working at the Patan Institute. During the Cold War, there was very little technology transfer between the U.S. and Russia, so the Patan Institute was just a mysterious place in the Ukraine that I never thought I'd have the opportunity to visit. That was before I met Peter. With Peter's help, I had the honor of getting to visit the Patan Institute, and I even got to see Dr. Boris Patan. So I spent a week in Kiev talking to some of the most brilliant welding engineers I've ever met. They have developed a number of unique welding processes for joining everything from titanium to human flesh. I brought back five different technologies which were unique and useful in industry. One of these is MIAB. So let's get into the details of the process. For MIAB welding a pipe, you clamp each of the two pieces into some heavy jaws. Now these jaws incorporate some large permanent magnets. The two jaws move together and make electrical contact between the two pieces of pipe and then you draw an arc between them. We hold it at a very specific gap for a short period of time. These permanent magnets which are built into the jaws cause the arc to rotate and you can hear it as it speeds up. As it gets hotter, the arc rotates quicker and quicker. In this example, we're welding one inch tubing. We start out at 450 amps for one second, drop to 250 amps for a second and a half, and at the very last, after the arc is wet at all the surfaces, we increase to 1100 amps to expel any oxides which may have formed on the end of the pipe, and then we forge the two pieces together. We continue to apply 1100 amps for 0.07 seconds and the weld is finished. So you can see how quickly this process works. And we also get very good weld integrity. Today's application is oil field tubing. This is an interesting challenge. We're welding very high strength tubing with around 120 KSI tensile. And then they coil this tube into coils which are miles long. The challenge of this application is fatigue life. As you coil this tubing, you exceed the yield strength. And then when you send it down the oil well, you straighten the tubing and again exceed the yield strength. So fatigue life is measured in hundreds of cycles, not the millions that most engineers are used to. This tubing is made from high strength steel. Much of the strength is derived from heat treatment. When you weld it, you compromise this heat treatment. So what we did in this process was we actually did a post-weld stress relief to drop the hardness in the weld zone. A simple post-weld heat treatment of 1050 Fahrenheit with a 10 minute ramp up, 5 minute hold, and then air cooled resulted in extremely uniform hardnesses all the way across the heat affected zone, base material, and the weld itself. I hope you enjoyed today's episode on MIAB welding. I think it's a fascinating process with a lot of potential applications in industry. There are some limitations on wall thicknesses and diameters, but if you have a product that might benefit from this process, call us. We look forward to posting new episodes of the ARC Specialties Weld of the Week. If you're one of the thousands of operators of ARC Specialties equipment around the world and you have a weld that you would like to showcase, please contact us. At ARC Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.